Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you today? Busy and tired. Busy and tired. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. Did you work today, Carla? Yes, teacher. Oh, I work. And yesterday, 24 hours or night shift only? Yes, uh, midnight. Oh, the night shift. Is el turno yes. de noche. The night shift. Mm -hmm. Sí, teacher, pero hasta la medianoche. Ah, okay. It's okay. I suppose it was heavy. Yes. Yeah. I imagine. Well, so you're not going to rest these days. Uh, no, no entiendo, teacher. No va a descansar estos días. No, no. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, well. That's part of your job, right? Yes. It's, <laughs> it's <laughs> sacrifice, but we know you do it with love. <laughs> yes, I love it. That's nice. And thank you for that. <laughs> I hope not to see you <laughs> in that case. <laughs> uh, okay, teacher. Not to be your patient. <laughs> but the situation is very difficult right now. I know. Mm. So yes, you teacher. have to be very careful. Very, very careful, Carla. Thank you, teacher. And uh, what about you, Fairyland? How was your day, Fairyland? You haven't been in classes this week. Very good, teacher. Today good. is my today is my free day. Oh, it's your day off. That's nice. Have you completed the platform? Yes, teacher. I I have a diploma. Oh, you got your diploma. Nice. Yes, teacher, I have a diploma. Great news. Uh, what about the rest of you, Felipe? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Um, I, I am very tired. I work today. Oh, you work today? Oh, wow. I imagine it's tired. I could not enter the class yesterday. Yes, I imagine. Because I didn't I see. You're a doctor too, right? Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, I imagine that. It's heavy for you. Yes, teacher. And so please be careful. Be careful. <clears throat> okay, well, for today, we're going to continue with the uh, with the reading exercise, uh, quantifiers, and also we're going to start the review um, about object pronouns, and uh, probably we will go also with comparatives. It depends. We still have time. We still have classes tomorrow. So we're going to start with the reading about what's typical and in some countries, and then we're going to study a little bit about the quantifiers, okay? So that's some interesting facts about what's typical in some countries. Uh, let's start reading the first one. It says, in Ireland, 83% 80, of the adult population own their own house. Well, is that clear? You can ask about vocabulary. Okay, I suppose it's clear, this part. In Ireland, 83% of the other population own their own home. What about in Germany? Can you read in Germany, Carla? 
Uh, in Germany, the average 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 age to get married is three thirty one thirty one for men and twenty eight for women. Okay, uh huh. It's similar to El Salvador, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, Thank you so much, Carla. Okay. In the, let's continue with the United Arab Emirates, uh, Freiland. In the United United Arab Emirates, eighty-five percent of the population live in urban areas. Okay. That's interesting. Thank you so much, Brian. Gloria, can you read in South Korea? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. In South Korea. In 15, South? South Korea. In South Korea. 59% yeah. of couples have children. Okay, that's nice. Okay, thank you so much, Gloria. Maria? Can you continue in Japan? In Japan, 65% of the elderly population live with their children. Okay, thank you so much. Oscar, can you continue in Australia? Yes, teacher. In Australia, 13% of household have more than five people. All right. Thank you so much. All household teacher. Okay, we will household. define the vocabulary. As household is um uh las casas. Mm -hmm. Casas. Mm -hmm. puede ser viviendas. Pregunta, ¿Viviendas? teacher. Viviendas. Sí, viviendas es más apropiada la palabra viviendas. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Now, in Portugal, is there? In Portugal? Uh, good evening. In Portugal, 70% of mother work outside their home. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, it is in Mexico. In Mexico, Yes, that's it. Thank you so much, Iris. Uh, Maria in Canada. Okay, uh, give me a second. In Canada, uh, 40, 45 percent of the husband and wife share the housework. Okay, thank you so much. What, which okay. of this fact is surprising for you? Um, mm, give me a second. In Portugal, uh, 50, uh, 70. No, 70, sorry, 70% 70 per, percent of mother were outside the, the home. Okay. Uh, yes. It's a high person than the, yes. the mother. Working outside. Yes. Yes, it's very high. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you so much. Another volunteer? Which is surprising for you? Which of these facts? Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning? What is the meaning when we say on their own home. Ajá, es en la primera ocasión es poseer. Aquí es poseer su propia casa. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, thank you. Poseer su propia casa. Uh, any other question? In Germany, the average age to get married is 80, sorry, is uh, 31 for men and 28 for women is very surprised me because it's a high high age and I consider this is a good age because the person the people 
are in that age are more mature, mature? Uh -huh. They are mature and also probably they have finished their career. Yes, and they are prepared to, to get children. Yes, yes. That's the most appropriate age to get married, probably. <laughs> not okay. very young, not very old, so it's okay. <laughs> yes, it's a good age. Yes, excellent. Uh, just that. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your participation. Well, uh, okay. after that, we have a conversation. We're going to practice the pronunciation. With this conversation, they are com they are uh, talking about typical facts or traditional things. What's typical? Is that typical? Let's listen the conversation, and after that, we're going to practice. Conversation. Is that typical? Part A. Listen and practice. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. A lot of families in China have only one child these days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, do you have any question about the conversation? No, teacher. Okay, so the vocabulary is clear. I sent you the... the uh -huh. Ya les envié a su WhatsApp la conversación. Okay, you already have it there. I'm going to play the conversation one more time so you can repeat after you hear. Page 33, exercise nine, conversation. Is that typical? Part A, listen and practice. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Really? Yeah, a lot of families in China have only one child these days. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. What? I come from a big family. I have a brother and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Wow, is that typical in Peru? I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm sure. I'm Many sure. families sure. are smaller. Families are great. Great. Get a lot of presents. Get a lot of birthday presents. Okay, good. Esta es un poco larga, pero para vamos a ir haciendo las pausas como las vemos aquí. Uh, por ejemplo, I'm not sure, y hay que hacer una pequeña pausa en el punto. I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Mm -hmm. Haciendo las pausas es, es como más fácil. Mm -hmm. So, um, ahí van, y se oye más natural, haciendo, poniendo atención a los puntos. I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days. 
but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. And that's it. So, lo voy a poner en grupos eh, de dos o tres para que puedan practicar. Ya les mandé la conversación a su WhatsApp. Ahí van a practicar en grupos. Okay. How, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meli? Really? Yeah. A lot of family in China have only one child is there. I needed I didn't know that. What about you, Marco? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Hello. Hola. Ay, que no le escucho. ¿Qué pasó? Se salió. Mm. Hola. Ah. Ok, you're still three. Uh, pueden okay. seguir practicando entre ustedes. Okay. It is. Ah, ok. Eh, ¿Dónde is? nos quedamos? Okay. Wow, it's Queda ahí, Gloria y Karen. Ok, empecemos. Qué bien. Ahora, Cambiamos. Now, si quiere que... uh, ahora, ahora, ahora ustedes Marcos, Carla y, y Freud Lambasser May. Ok. How many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah, a lot of families in China have only, only one child these days. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical is that typical in Peru? I'm not sure. Many families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Bien, bien, bien. Ahora Freiland será. Very good job. Let's continue. Ahí vienen ya por nosotros. <coughs> <coughs> ya los yo escuché. Voy, yo voy a hacer Marcos. <laughs> Lo hicieron <laughs> muy <Marcos>. bien. Lento <laughs> pero you, seguro. <laughs> Lento pero seguro. <laughs> Vaya. Thank you.
No se pudo, Karen. <risa> se zafaron. <risa> No, no tengo que ir al internet y me sacaba cada ratito. Mm. <ríe> Le creo, a mí me ha estado fallando bastante estos días, quizás por las tormentas que aquí ni llueve, pero se va la luz a cada rato y me va a quemar todo. <ríe> ok. Uh, uh, this conversation illustrates the topic that we're going to study today. Uh, it's about um, quantifiers. You know, sometimes we use quantifiers when we don't know an exact number. We use quantifiers. Um, like, for example, here, one is, let me see, uh, many. Many is a quantifier. Many. A lot of is a quantifier, too. Uh huh, and the ones that you studied there in the platform uh, are this one. Okay, we have uh, the audio to listen the grammar focus, and then I will explain a little bit about this. Page thirty-four, exercise ten, grammar focus, quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay. Well, those are quantifiers. We use quantifier when we don't have an exact number, but we want to give an idea of the quantity. And as you can see, the scale starts with the quantifier all. All represents 100%. And then they are going down in the scale. Okay. Uh, van a usar all cuando nos refiramos al total, a un 100%. Luego vamos nearly all, most, many, a lot of, y así va decreciendo en la escala de los porcentajes. Hasta que llegamos a no, no one. Okay. And lo que es importante mencionar aquí que no one se utilizará solo para singular. Mm -hmm. No one gets married before the age of 18. Nadie, no one gets married before the age of 18. Mm -hmm. Teacher E. What is the meaning of nearly all? Nearly all sería nearly. como decir casi todos. Uh, okay. Casi todos. Nearly all es similar a decir casi todas. Casi todas las familias tienen un hijo único. Hijo. Nearly all families have. Como en porcentaje podría ser como un 90%. En porcentaje. Podría ser un 90, sí. Ajá, okay. Most teacher. Como decir la mayoría. Most. La mayoría, muchos, many and a lot of es como muchos. Son ya es algunos. Not many, no muchos. A few. Son casi similares, teacher. Pocos, pocos, sí. Y no one es ninguno. Acuérdense que no one sí se va a usar solo para singular. Es no one ninguno. Nadie. Eh, no teacher, one. Yeah? please explain the difference between many and some. Ok, many y a lot of significa muchos. Ambos son similares. Y some significa algunos. Ahí sí es, es ya diferente decir many. Muchos son 
algunos. Uh -huh. es que, es... Perdón, yo, yo recuerdo porque cuando uno dice, give me son of water. Ajá, no, está me... Uh, some water, algo de agua, un poco de agua. Uh -huh. Igual aquí, some es algunos, un, un pocos. Uh -huh. Algunos, sí. ajá, algunos. Uh -huh. Se puede usar también con, con el tema de la comida o las bebidas, como decir, necesito algo de queso. I need some cheese. Uh -huh. Igual aquí significa algunos, algunas familias, some families are smaller these days, son más pequeñas estos días. The son significa algunos o algo de, un poco de, si hablamos de comida. Uh -huh. Ok, any other question? Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, you did show us another picture similar of, of this picture in other class. I don't know if it's the same or is this uh, a little resume of, of the other picture. I don't remember, but uh, era un poquito más grande el otro cuadro y traía más de, de llamar vocabulario, no sé. Ah, ¿será que para, eso? Para poderlo comparar y ver. Ok, eh, este tema de los quantifiers, eh, en este curso es primera vez que lo vemos. Lo que vimos que tal vez me dice que se parece son los adverbios de frecuencia. Ah, Déjenme okay. revisar si lo tengo por aquí. Muchas ah. gracias. Sí, teacher, yo creo que eso es lo que él dice. Porque si sí, vimos un cuadrito, usted lo puso, creo que en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. Que también era por porcentajes. Ajá, Ajá. cabal, exacto. Es este. Mm, cabal. Exacto. Uh -huh. Este, pero esto es, uh, es, digamos, un tema diferente. Porque um, en el otro estamos hablando de cantidad. Se llama quantifiers. Y en este estoy hablando de frecuencia. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Y, Thank y you. quizás por esto de los porcentajes es que usted lo asoció, que cuando decimos always me refiero al 100% de las veces. Pero eh, es diferente, es como si yo le dijera, um, I, always, um, I always exercise in the afternoon. Dice, oh, siempre hago ejercicio en la, en la tarde. Pero esto es ya hablando de frecuencia y en esta otra parte estamos hablando de cantidad. En cantidad decir all es todo, todos. Como que yo dijera all, um, all the students got the certificate. And me refiero a que todos tienen el certificado, todos obtuvieron un certificado. All the students get a certificate at the end of the module. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Uh, it's, it's, it's clear mm -hmm. for me. Thank you. Okay. Un ejemplo con most. Most, uh, most students are in class today. No están todos, solo tengo 16, pero son casi que un 80% quizás. Ajá, entonces podemos decir most students Most students are in class today. Many of you, many of you have problems with the exercises in the platform. Ya vieron, yes. con, la, con la plataforma también ejercitamos la paciencia, la meditación. Uh -huh. Okay, can you give more examples with these quantifiers, volunteers? What? No se le escucha, teacher. ¿Cómo lo sé yo? ¿Los demás me escuchan? Yes. Yes, yes. I can hear you. Ah, pues, ah, pues soy yo. Perdón. 
Ok. Uh, ¿Cómo escribiríamos estas oraciones utilizando un quantifier? Por ejemplo, la primera dice, in the United States, 75% of high school students go to college. The United States, 75%. The United States, most of the high school students go to college. Of the students. Tenemos que sustituir. Sustituir ese 75%. 75%. ¿Con cuál de esos quantifiers sustituirían el identify? Many. Most. Many. Most. Many. Or many. Many porque está hablando en 75%. Many. Ajá. Ahí está la respuesta. Pueden ver en este cuadrito. In the United States, many high school students go to college. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, number two. Seven. Uh, seven percent. 7% of the people in Brazil are age 65 or older. Few people, yes. Few people. Few people. Seven. Few. Ver en dos? Few people in Brazil are age 65 or older. Uh, number three in India, zero. No one. Excellent. In India, no one, no one votes before the age of 18. Now, let's see the next one. Uh -huh. It says 40%. 40% of the people in Sweden live alone. Uh, some people. Some. 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 Not many? Some. Or not many? Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Some. some. Yes. Some, some people, people. In live alone. Uh, excellent. Excellent job. Let's continue with the number five. That's the number five. It says uh, in Singapore. In Singapore, 23% of people speak at home. Not many. Not many. In Singapore, many people speak English at home. Excellent, excellent. In Singapore, not many people speak English at home. Excellent job. Okay, so I see that topic is clear for you. I know that you did this in the platform. Uh, some of you have finished the platform. And uh, well, the platform finished with a reading exercise. And you asked me to make a review today. Yeah. So we're going to start with the review now that you have understood this topic. We're going to start with the review of the object first. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless. Okay. Can you see that screen? Yes. 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 Yeah, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start the review about object pronouns. Me pidieron repasar este tema. Eh, ¿Qué es lo que recuerdan que habíamos dicho de los object pronouns? Nos pertenece. Eh, Se refiere al objeto. Ajá, el object pronoun se refiere a en la oración. Es quien recibe la acción o a quien va dirigida la acción en quien recae la acción. Um, por ejemplo, en esta oración tenemos this present es el sujeto. Estos regalos, ese sería el subject, sujeto. ¿A quién son? ¿A quién van dirigidos? A mí, para um. mí. Entonces, yo soy el objeto, yo recibo eso, sobre mí recae esta acción. So, these presents are for me. Ahora, 
this present uh, uh, is for, for you. you. Para ti, uh -huh. That present is present for him. For him. Para él, uh -huh. object pronoun, him. Now, that <coughs> present is for her. Her. Mm -hmm. her. That present is for it. <laughs> Mascot. <laughs> this present is for us. It's for us. Okay. These presents are for you. These presents are for you. Those presents are for them. Those presents are for Those them. Those presents are for them. Mm -hmm. So, how does it work? If the subject is I, the object is? Me. 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 Mm -hmm. No. For he? Him. 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 She? Her. 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 It? It. 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 Oh. Uh, okay, when is it? It. It. For we? Us. 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 You? You. 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 Now let's exercise. Uh, I have a page so you can practice the object pronouns. I'm going to send this material for you to have it. Okay. Remember, and here we have it. I'm going to make it here. Nice. Okay. The words in red are object pronouns. Take a look at the, uh, at the table to understand it. The examples on the left is what we have already practiced. Remember, if uh, if it refers to I, the object is me, you, you, he, the object is him, she, object is her, it is the same, doesn't change it. We changes to us and you changes is the same. They changes to them. Now let's look at the examples. Can you read the first example, Patricia? I like. Okay. Mr. Galan, can you read the first example, please? Like apples, I like them. Excellent. I like apple, I like pen. Okay, I like. thank you. Karen, can you continue? You hate music. You hate. Uh -huh. You hate music. You hate it. Excellent. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Porque como se refiere, la música es una cosa, entonces el, el object es it. Aquí, como está en la tabla, al referirnos a una cosa o a una tercera persona, es mm -hmm. it. Ok, we love, uh, she adores. She adores. Michael. She adores. Michael. She adores. She adores. She adores. Next example, Karen. We love her songs. We love her. We love her. Ok, nice. Emperatriz, can you continue this birthday? This birthday, I received a book. My mother gave it to me. Very good. Uh, oh, yeah. Carlos, it's... <laughs> ah, that's it's, okay. It's our book. It's our book. Give to us. us. Give to us. Okay, good. Now, following this example, we're going to complete the rest of the exercises. 
uh, completing with the right object pronoun. Okay. For example, letter A, Carol went to New York and loved it. Love it. it. Love it. I love it. Ajá, porque estamos love. hablando de que amo Nueva York. Yeah, right. Nueva York es una ciudad, es una cosa, entonces es it. Carol went to New York and loved it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Loved it. Ajá, uh -huh. try to complete B, C, and so on. For example, in your notebook, you should write letter A, answer it. Letter B, C, D, and so on. Then we're going to check the answer. Okay.
finish, teacher. Okay, let's listen to a volunteer for letter B. Volunteer for letter B. Oh. Them. There are many interesting places. There are many interesting places. There are and car there and car visit them all. Them all. Okay, the correct answer is them. Excellent. Them. 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 If you have them, is correct. Uh, do you have letter C, Luis Fernando? When she came back, her friends at school asked her to tell him uh, to tell them about the big apple. Excellent, excellent job. When she came back, her friends at the school asked her to tell them uh -huh, about the big apple. Excellent. Esther, do you have letter D? Yes, they were excited to come on, Carlos, to tell us more about it. Excellent. Tell us more about it. Nidia? Do you have letter E? E. Yes. They were, were ask, asking uh, then so many question question that Carol had to stop uh, her. Mm, creo que lo he puesto al revés. Her era primero. Uh -huh. Her y then. Okay. Her y después then. Uh -huh. they, okay. uh, they were asking her so many questions that Carol had to stop them. Uh -huh. Teacher, disculpe, ¿cómo queda la D? Uh, la D. D, sí. ¿Cómo que, que el, la de Carol? Ah. Me la salté, ¿verdad? Uh, no, 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 es que yo no. No. No, ya la había. Ok. Sí, solo quiero saber cómo quedó, que no la pude corregir. Ok. They were excited to come on, Carol. Tell us. I'm going to tell us. Yeah. yeah. More about it. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. Uh, letter F. Freyland, do you have F? Okay, I I tell I tell you everything you want, but I don't ask me so many questions. Excellent, excellent job. That's the answer. Uh, do you have letter G, Felipe? James was curious and, and asked asked her about Central Park. Okay, good answer, excellent. Uh, do you have letter H, Carla? Mm, Peter was quiet. He didn't say a word. Carol looked at him and said, What's the matter with you, Peter? Don't you have any question to ask to ask me? Excellent job. That's the answer. It's quite long. <laughs> Le tocó la más larga. <laughs> but excellent. Uh, and finally, I. Do you have letter I, Esther? Yes. Well, uh, I well say, Peter, I don't, I do, but the bell is ringing and nobody hear you. Mm. No. The bell. The bell. The bell is ringing. Ah. Uh, hear it. It. Uh -huh. Porque dice <laughs> la campana está sonando y nadie la escuchó. Ah, la campana. Okay. Sorry. It. it. Okay. And that's it. 
You did an excellent job. Hicieron un trabajo excelente con los um, object pronouns. <laughs> Mañana vamos a repasar demonstrative, comparatives. Uh -huh, demonstratives y comparatives. Okay. Y okay. si nos queda chance, también vamos a practicar frequency adverbs. Okay. So tomorrow, a full review for you, and I will send the material to your WhatsApp group later. Thank Más tardecito okay. les mando el material que hemos estudiado ahora, ¿ok? okay. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good, Thank you. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Thank See you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. See you. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye.